What I love about space exploration is finding out new things, learning new things we never thought we would learn in my lifetime. My name is Jeanette Epps. I am a mission specialist for the NASA SpaceX Crew-8 mission to the International Space Station. I am from Syracuse, New York, where it's very cold. I am one of seven children. My twin sister, Janet, yes, Janet and Jeanette, we both love science as kids. Janet went on to become a molecular cell biologist, and I became an aerospace engineer. I think I always secretly wanted to become an astronaut. I just never thought that it was something that was obtainable. In 2008, a friend of mine, Leland Melvin, called me and said that they were accepting applications for the next class. I thought it was my last chance to apply, and so I did. June 2009, I received a phone call from Peggy Whitson, and she asked if I wanted to join the astronaut corps. It was very overwhelming and emotional for me to actually get that call and be selected. Prior to coming to NASA, I worked for Ford Motor Company, and then I went on to work for the Central Intelligence Agency. At both of those places, I learned to be very deep in technical matters, but then also how to become operational. Our mission will entail getting on the vehicle, flying to the space station, taking care of the International Space Station, and then we'll also conduct experiments. Each individual will be an experiment in and of themselves, how our cells behave, how our blood changes, how our bone density changes, muscle mass. We're looking at everything to figure out countermeasures for the human body so that it can live longer and longer outside the Earth's protection. Not only will we be an experiment, but we'll have other experiments on board that we'll conduct. The experiments that we conduct, hopefully, will get the human body and other things to the moon and then from the moon to Mars. I will be the GEM specialist, which is the Japanese experiment module. I may get a chance to operate their robotic arm to help them with experiments that they'll do outside of the space station. Since this will be my first trip to the International Space Station, I'm looking forward to viewing the Earth from an amazing vantage point but also experiencing all the nuances that go along with that. As we walk to the launch pad, as we're strapped into the vehicle, the things that I, I believe I'll be feeling, unbelief, surrealism, but also joy. And then once we go into orbit, just to see the Earth from that vantage point, and then thinking of ways that we're gonna work on the space station that's gonna help our home that we're now untethered to. When I get to the space station, I'm expecting that it will be like home. We've trained so much here on Earth in the mock-up that looks just like the International Space Station. The biggest thing I'll have to do is adapt to space during the first two weeks of being there, and then I'll settle into home. <laughs>